Alrighty, guys, Jam Box breaks 10:32 p.m. Eastern Time on the 19th of April. We're breaking 2014. We're doing a big throw back here at Bowman Draft. Um, 12 plus autos per guys. Some good color. There's some pretty good names in this. I just want to do something different. Here's we got in the break. It's gonna be random teams. We'll do the random here in a second. We got Eric, Xavier, Bobby, Benny, Andrew, Eric, Joe, Terrence, Sarah, Chuck, Terrence, Chad, uh, Eric, Joe, Colin, Eric, Chad, Terrence, Eric. We got Benny, Eric. Frank, Terrence, Joe, and John with the uh, paper base and Mets spot because Mets have no autos. Let's see the ring. All right, we got John on bot. Oh, sorry, John. We don't have a random. Joe on bottom and Eric on top. Any higher than four guys, four lower to a reroll. Three go again. All right, seven times. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Starting off with Eric with the D backs and ending with Terrence with the Nationals with Trey Turner. One of the best hits in the break. All right, here we go. We got Eric D backs. Braves go to Terrence, Bob with the Orioles. We got Red Sox going to Eric, Colin with the White Sox, Cubs go to Eric. Benny with the Reds, Indians go to Frank. We got Eric with the Rockies, Tigers go to Terrence, Sarah with the Astros. Orioles go to Chuck, Terrence with the Angels, Dodgers go to Eric, Chuck with the Marlins, Brewers go to Eric, and Twins. We got Benny with the Yankees, that's his team. Athletics go to Andrew, Xavier with the Phillies, Pirates go to Bobby, Joe, Padres, Giants, and Mariners. We got Eric with the Cardinals and Rays. Chad with the Rangers, Blue Jays go to Chad, Terrence with the Nats, and the base paper spot, and Mets go to John. I'm going to leave it open. If anybody wants to do any trades, please let me know. How about them Sixers, Eric? How about them, man? Thank God. I was worried, man. The whole game, man. I didn't think they were going to get it. I killed it, though, in the third. I'll print this out, guys. Um, if you want to do any trades, I'll leave it open for a minute. I know most people never trade, but... Uh, 2014 is not the best checklist in the world in terms of uh, booming, but still a pretty good one. There's still some big hits. Try to get some good 2015 Asia or 2015 period. I couldn't get any, so I had to stick with 2014. Okay, we're ready for Bowman. Sorry, Chad. You always say that. Where did your guys' teams went in an order like that? Chad, you had like two in a row, and then Joe had all three in a row. That's really weird. I mean, 2014 still has some big, big guys. It's not like other years, but for the price, it's a lot better. I mean, Bevin right now is just, no matter what year you buy, it's fucking overpriced. Especially 2015. That's what I was looking for, though. There's some huge guys in that, but it's just, it's like triple the price of this. It's crazy. Anyone doing any trades? You know your teams? What are we doing? Uh, are we ready to roll? Damn, I got six viewers. It always happens when I break some booming. Hopefully 2018 booming, we have like 80 viewers. This is going to be expensive, guys. Only 22 freaking teams in the list. It's pisses me off. It sucks there's only 22 teams with hits. It really sucks, actually. Especially how much it is. 
Chad will trade for the Giants. Uh, Joe, you're on. You want to trade for the Giants? Chad has Blue Jays or Rangers. You got Giants in one of yours, Joe. You got Padres, Giants, and Mariners. I'll start ripping. Let me know if you want to trade. If not, I understand. What's up, Duggar? Alright, guys. Haven't done this shit since 2014. <laughs> he said, no thanks. <laughs> I probably haven't broke this since 2014. I'm not a big Bowman guy, as you guys all know. Too many damn packs. I was trying to find jumbos or something, man. There's no Bowman good price anywhere, man. It's it's been ridiculous. Oh, the white boom. I forgot all about this. It's been a long time. All chrome is shipping, guys. Chrome color. Paper spot and Mets obviously goes to John. No Mets hits. Something to Sarah. Before you ask, I'll tell you your team. You got the Astros. So you have shot Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher sells pretty well. Not as much as that other clown on the team right now that's selling for crazy in 2015, but can't think of his name right now. He's selling for a ton. And Eric has half the other teams. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Yeah, like eight teams in a mini, that's not bad. God, I forgot what this even looks like. It's been so long since I broke this. I have boxes of this shit. I need to go through it. <laughs> not autos, but like of the base and the rookies. I think Correa's rookies in this too. So Sarah got the Astros. I'm trying to think, who's the big Astros selling right now from, from 2015? Can't freaking think of it. Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker is selling for a shit ton. If anyone knows who he is, he's not even doing that great, and he's selling for a ton. I read off all color guys, refractors, and autos. So I went auto for box, unfortunately. Because Bowman's gay like that. Yeah, Tucker's selling for ridiculous, dude. I went through my a box and I had a whole bunch of them. I got rid of them real fast. They weren't Bowman, but they were other brands. Alright. Insert of Blake Swihart for the Red Sox. I'm trying to keep this separated so I know what to ship. There's a Schwarber rookie. Oh, there we go. Derek Fisher, right off the bat. Base auto. On the share. Nice hat. That was quick. A two pump chump right there. Three cards in. We already pulled the auto. The first box. So Houston's down. Where's my marker at? So there you go, Sarah. It's not the gold or anything like that. All right, J.P. Crawford, Hunter Harvey refractor. Got to know was in this too. I didn't put him in the list. All right, refractor of Sean Foley. Pell. Pell was going to be great, but he retired. Which really sucks because my Phillies picked him up. Retiring early. Damn paper. I'm just trying to separate now, guys. Just to make it easier when I sort it. All right, we have a green of Gabriel Guerrero, number 99 for the Mariners. 
sorry, 150, cent 99 back in 2014. All right, we got a Daniel Gossett on the Shimmer, not numbered. It is a paper, but it is a uh, insert. So forest wall, refractor. Why are they putting the chrome upside down? We got a Swihart and a Gusko Kata on the refractor auto. Or sorry, refractor, not auto. Mr. KB. All number paper will ship. We got Albert Amora for the Cubs, number two, uh, 399. Michael Mater for the Marlins and the refractor. Give me a second, guys. It's been a while since I broke this, so I just gotta get the uh, gist of how it's going. All right, Renfro on the refractor. We had a Jake Stinnett on the shimmer. Just a paper, though. And Joe Gatto for the Angels in the Refractor. Refractors are not numbered in this one. All right, that's box uno. All right, box two. When this product came out, Nick Gordon was the number one hit in this. He still sells well, but he's going down a ton. Who's the Marlin? Tyler Kolick. I remember him too. Now he ain't worth shit. At least compared to what he was. Guys, just to let you know, this does have Chris Bryant SP autos in it. They do show up. It's very rare, but they do pop up. So, Cubbies is Eric. Eric, you still have a shot at hitting a nice 2013 Chris Bryant auto. If we do hit a Krim auto, you're looking at least 500. He doesn't pop up a lot. We used to hit him when I used to break this back in the day. He is not on the list either. He just pops up. I actually remember that till now. Pretty sure it's this. That's why the price is still so high for this product. Yeah, guys, 2018 will be out on Wednesday. I was probably going to start posting on Sunday. I just want to get a uh, an average price list of what people are charging for teams. So I'm pretty similar, if not cheaper. I probably will throw up some box wars, too, where you pay a little bit. Actually, I'll probably be paying close to retail with the way the price markup went. And then somebody wins a box for free. That's what I'm going to do with uh, Contenders Football, at least for one case. The college one. I do have another case of this, by the way. Um, so I'll be pissing them probably tomorrow. All right, we got uh, Casey Gillespie, Louis Severino. We got the uh, Francis Montas. Die cut refractor Cameron Varga for Tampa Bay on the refractor.
Rena Nemo, Refractor. Ready, Carson Sands. Refractor, Michael Geddes for San Diego. Josh Bell for the Pirates. All right, and orange. Here we go. Alex Jackson, very nice for Seattle. Going to Joe. Congrats, dude. I know he was huge back in 2014, but he's still selling okay. Two of 25. Congrats, dude. Nice hit. Back in 2014, this show would have been like a thousand dollars. Nice hit. I don't know what the hell he's at now. I know he's declined a little bit. But he's actually coming up and selling better. Kyle Zimmer, Dominic Smith Refractor. Oh, I forgot Hoskins rookies are in this too. His first uh first Bowman's. They'll sell well too. Guys remember the first Bowman Chrome rookies sell good too. Uh Ryan Castellani for the Rockies and a refractor. All right, Braden Shipley, Refractor. All right, Green, Michael Chavis. Number two, uh, 150, Cleveland. Or, sorry, Boston. Robert Stevenson. Connor Joe, Refractor. Good old Austin Meadows. Even the Chris Bryson is sell pretty good, too. All right, on the box three. Nice hit, Joe. Nice orange, Alex Jackson. I'd probably hold him because he's supposed to be a freaking awesome player. He declined a little bit over the years. But he was one of the big hits in 2014. Box three. Anyone know what orange is going for now on eBay by any chance? Come on. Guys, why is it every time we break Bowman, nobody freaking talks? This is why I don't like breaking Bowman. Every single time we break Bowman, everyone just shuts their mouth. It's like it's so serious or something. <laughs> 2018 Bowman, if we're quiet, I'm just going to put them all on eBay and say, fuck it. <laughs> I hate silent breaks. I can't stand it. Every time we break Bowman, don't matter what it is, Bowman Chrome, Bowman Draft, regular Bowman, nobody talks. Probably there's always so many, so freaking late. I know, Joe, I hate... I hate Bowman Hobby, dude. I like Jumbo because it's real quick. Hobby takes forever. I loved Jumbo last year. Remember the? It wasn't called Jumbo. What the hell was it called last year? That Bowman Chrome. It was one pack and three cards per. It was freaking amazing. No base cards, no colors, just three autos. It was great. It was absolutely great. And everyone hated it because of that, but I loved it. <laughs> uh, not yet, Eric. Not yet. We're on box three. We've only had two others so far. Well, shit, Sarah. You've been drinking straight whiskey. You should be talking to your freaking... You should be talking to us. Come on. Yeah, Bowman HTA. Remember that shit? It was great. Breaker's Dream. Look, Aaron Judge. I forgot about him, too. On the second Bowman's. Guys, they do sell. You hit the regular crumbs of these guys. Ryan McMahon, the refractor. Fred J.B. Crawford was near too. 
God, this stuff's so old. I have so much of this laying around. I gotta go through it. I forgot all about them. All right. For the Marlins, we have Tyler Kolick. All right, Dylan Cease in a refractor. The Cubbies. I hope this way. Yeah, Bowman HTA Chrome. I loved it. I love that that three cards of pack shit, man. Three autos, no base. It was a dream. Beretto and a refractor. I hope to do it again this year. I mean, it sucks for you guys because I mean, color does sell, but it, it definitely definitely worked out for us. All right, we have a Urias. That would have been huge too. He's declined a lot. Out of three ninety nine blue, the Dodgers. All right, Clint Frazier. And there's still a lot of good prospects in this. CJ uh, Edwards. Not so much the autos, but the uh, actual chrome cards and inserts. There's still a lot. Eric Scoglin for Kansas City and a refractor. All right, Mr. Jeff Hoffman. Still pretty decent. Refractor. Blue Jays. Going to Chad. Nice hit. It's actually not numbered. Uh, all chrome, Sarah. Paper, the paper ones are not. They ain't worth shit anyway. So Blue Jays head. Jeff Hoffman's actually still a highly ranked prospect. He's not come up yet. Not that I'm aware of. All right, we have uh, Stephen Buxton. Or sorry, Stephen Byron Buxton, refractor. God, I'm tired. So we broke this earlier. And he's still a Conforto then, too. Jonathan Holder, refractor for the Yankees. Like these ins inserts will. Uh, Josh Hader for the Astros. All right, Dark Hill for the Tigers. Maybe Eric uh, Jaliglo, whatever his name is, for the Yankees in the refractor. All you know, the ice paper and the color paper will ship, though. Like this one. We have a Sean Newcomb, number two, uh, 399 on the paper for the Angels. Spencer Turnbull, refractor. I remember when he was a huge prospect, too. All right, box four. So, so far, we got a Derek Fisher, which is nice, and Alex Jackson, orange, and Jeff Hoffman, refractor for the Blue Jays. So definitely in 2014, this would have been an awesome case so far. Right now, it's about a, a half. <laughs> half the case. I still think Alex Jackson's going to be a big guy. He just hasn't done it in the minors like he was supposed to. He was like number one freaking prospect for a while. But Seattle's got so much talent. I don't know if they're going to bring him up. They may, they may just trade him. Because he hasn't been doing shit. The reason why I need to pick your team on this guy is because some of these guys are so old, it's like not even worth buying. So I did randoms. And we all know randoms take forever in my group, no matter what I post it as. Everyone always cries for randoms, but every time I post randoms, they take forever. Every single time. But I'm going to start doing some more box wars soon, guys. I think with the new boom, I'm going to do one, too. I might do it with another case of this. Just do box wars. It's fun. 
Whoever gets the lowest number of cards gets the last box for free. So you have a shot at two boxes. You might have to pay a little bit over retail depending on the product, but you get that lowest number of cards, you're going to get that second box for free. We used to do them a lot back in the day. Like Supreme and everything like that. Open all the boxes live and in the last box. Looks like we're doing a break. And I ship everything in the box to you. Not a lot of people do it anymore. I want to go back to doing it. I think it's fun. Alright guys, box four. Definitely doing Contenders College on one of the cases. We'll do one random letter and then the other one will be box fours. Remember him, Mike Poppy? He used to sell for a shit ton too. All right, Sean Newcomb. We have a tire glass now in the refractor. He used to sell a lot too. It's funny bringing all these guys back. All right, one on one printing plate. Who is it? We're going to have a Grant Holmes for the Dodgers. Uh, it's going to go to Eric. Which that counts as a hit because it's a one on one, even though it's just a plate. Mr. Grant Holmes. That's uh, Cal's son, or his nephew. We got a uh, Jace Fry on the refractor. It's now an Oriole. I was chasing him back in 2014, if you guys don't remember. Nola's first Bowman. I'm sorry. There's some paper in there. So it matters. Miguel Monte Refractor. All right. We got a uh, Casey Soltis for the Miami, number two, three ninety nine on the Chrome. We got a uh, Aaron Brown on the Ice. Josh Morgan Refractor, Texas. Hate these things are all upside down. All right, we have a uh, Corey Seager on the insert. McMahon's in here. All right, we have a Tyler Kolick from Miami, 12 of 25. Would have been a huge hit in 2014. He still sells okay, but not like he used to. Go to Chuck. I don't think he's up yet either, though, so give us some time. There you go on the silver ink. Very nice. Miami's down. It's probably the only good selling Mar Mar uh, Marlin out there, to be honest with you. Him and, um, who's the other guy they have? Real Muto. All right, Sano, Courtney Hawkins on the refractor. And Deaver's first Bowman as well. For Dugo, he's been selling good. Uh, Brett Austin, refractor. All right, uh, Gabriel Guerrero for Seattle and the Refractor. All right, Hunter Renfro, very nice in the blue. Number two out of 399, San Diego. Ice of uh, Mason Williams, sorry, I flew out of my hand. And a Casey Soltis on the refractor from Miami. 
All right, that's it for box four. Yo, Colix, dude, Colix, good, Chuck. It's just he's on the freaking Marlins, but he he's the, probably the best-selling Marlin there is in the market. There's him and there's uh, JT Real Muto, who actually is up now. I think he came up last year, but um, Kolick actually was selling really good for a while. I would hold on to him because I don't think he's up yet. Box five. I, th I thought they were going to bring up this year. I don't think he came up. He's actually a really good pitcher. Just the Marlins freaking suck, man. That's the problem. Here's in the Yankees would be a different story. Yeah, he, he didn't do college. He came right out of high school, I'm pretty sure. He was selling for a lot when he first came out back in 2014. Like I said, the Marlins are just a shitty team, man. It's just the way the values go. They go in the freaking Yankees. They could be shitty and they still sell high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Jeter will trade them to the Yankees. Hold on to them. And you're, you're the best at holding on to people, Chuck. You know how, the, how it works, dude. You hold on to the guys. Ten years later, you pull out their rookie autos. I'm like, yep, I got them. Who needs them? <laughs> Silver Ink's nice, too. I'm sure it actually probably sells pretty good. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at his value in a little bit. But I used to hit a bunch of his autos back in the day. I had to price him. He was the only reason why the Marlins were worth more than $25 in anything. <laughs> yeah, like Trevor Story. Exactly. Trevor Story sucks now, though. He's, I mean, he doesn't suck, but he's not hes not what he was his rookie year when he was throwing home runs. Just like Aaron Judge ain't. Stanton. Stanton looks like shit on the Yankees. Too much pressure. Should have stayed on the damn Marlins. It's nuts, man. Yankees are stacked. I don't know how they're freaking in like third or fourth place right now. Makes no sense. Fucking Boston's killing it, man. They're absolutely raping that division. Orioles look like fucking ass. My Phillies are actually coming around. I don't know how. But they're doing well. Second place. Yeah, American League pitching is totally different from National League. You're, you're, you're right on that, Chuck. But I'll tell you what. You can say that, but I think there's more Cy Youngs in the Amer and the National League than the American League, dude. I really do. It could be the switch because of that, but uh, I think National League actually has better starting pitchers. Maybe not as many, but they have, like, the elite. I really do believe that. I firmly believe it. All right, box five, guys. All right, we have a we. Uh, I guess we have a black box. All right, Grayson Grainer, Detroit. They're not numbers. They're black waves. Casey Soltis in the wave for Miami. Brian Gonzalez, black wave for Orioles. Gabriel Guerrero for the Mariners in the black wave, and Michael Feliz in the wave. I guess there's a couple waves. It's weird. It's been, like I said, it's been a long time since I've done this. All right, Urias, Sano in the refractor. All right, Cole Tucker for the Pirates, number two, uh, 399 on the paper. Luke Weaver, refractor for the Cardinals. He's actually selling a lot better. At least his autos are. Long break. All right, Jake Reed on the refractor. Regular Bowman, 2018 Bowman will be just like this, too. All this paper base. I will be still on the spot, guys. It won't be too high. Probably 60 bucks, but I'll tell you what, with all the paper of Witz's face, you're probably going to make a killing off of it. All right, uh, Ramos Garcia. Nice. I'm almost have to keep the paper, but I don't have time for that shit. 
All right, Sean Newcomb on a refractor. The tiny paper will probably sell for ten dollars a pop. Probably hit twenty a case. Something stupid like that. All right, Aaron Nola on the insert. All right, very nice, Nick Gordon, for the Twins, Minnesota. Going to Eric. God, in twenty fourteen, this case would be fire right now. But Nick Gordon's still a nice hit. Here you go, Eric. You're asking me a nice hit. But it's not clear all of him because they're actually pretty high. I'm not sure where his base is at. All right, Alex Jackson. Uh, Trey Stokes for the Brewers and the Refractor. My boy Alfaro now for the Phillies. All right, Kyle Schwerber on the first Bowman Refractor. Corey Ray for the Royals and the Refractor. All right, Dylan Davis for San Fran, number two, uh, 399 on the blue chrome. Ice keep flying. Jose Peraza for the Braves. And Derek Hill, Refractor for Detroit. All right, that's it for box five. So far, the orders have been good. Just gonna sleep them now, so it's easier to sort tomorrow. Guys, I'm gonna do my best to get this out tomorrow and uh, the football from last night. Worst comes to worst, I'll go out to you on Saturday. The case is almost full too. The half case. I'll post the other half once that one fills. All right, box six. I think the last time I broke this, I think I did a two or three caser, and I was trashed. It was like the worst break of my life. It was so long. I was like, why did I decide to do this tonight? I'm going to need the track lighting. I'm sweating my ass off. It was like when I first started breaking. Back in 2014. <laughs> Guys, it's only been four years already. That's crazy. I used to ship paper and base everything based back then. I was an idiot. It'd take me two days to ship all this with all this freaking paper. At least. I hate this sort of that shit. It'd take ten hours. I was like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> I was the only base shipper back then. Can't do the paper anymore, I just don't have time. I will do a recap at the end, guys, of the autos. If you don't feel like watching the whole thing, I completely understand. Just not the color. Oh, there's a ton of that anyway. Stuck. Now I know why this. Now I know why I hate boom, but I needed a preview for the new boom. And All right, halfway through. It's a long break.
at the cost. Forgot about him too. For Blue Jays. We have Ian Clark, and I don't know why I said that's just a base card. Thought it was a refractor. Uh, Tim Anderson, refractor. Chris Stratton, the Giants, and refractor. All right, Aaron Judge. I don't know what the hell they get for. It's not numbered. The Yankees. A uh, Wyatt Strain on the refractor. I've never seen that card. Not recently. That's probably second Bowman, maybe. All right, Nemo Mazzara on the refractor. All right, we have Trey Supak for the Pirates and the Ice. Getting you guys all ice is paper. Matt Morgan refractor for the Blue Jays. Ben Lively for the Reds. Aaron Josh has Chrome too. Second year. All right, we have a Trey Supak for the Pirates. Uh, Pittsburgh. Going to Bobby. He wasn't huge, but he wasn't terrible. Is a thirty-dollar judge really? Who are the Yankees? Benny, I'll make sure I top with that for you, bud. So that judge is thirty bucks. It's fucking ridiculous, man. Guys are selling for like stupid ass money. Well, I wrote. I really wrote. Guys on my um, in my list. I'd add Pittsburgh to use another list. And Pittsburgh wasn't there. My list really says Pittsburgh. If you get back to the, to the, to the beginning of the video, so thirty dollar judge. There you go, Benny. I, th I thought it was a red for a second because the red was there, but it's not numbered. Nice, stupid shit like that. I mean, it's just crazy what the stuff sells for. Darren Judge paper and chrome that they'll probably sell for a lot too. Save to Chris Bryant's. All right, Shipley. We have a Gavin Lavalley for the Reds in the Refractor. It's crazy. A lot of the first Bowman cards, guys, sell for a lot of money. As well. All right, Max Pentecost. Refractor. Hopefully he comes up one of these days. He was a highly sought-after prospect. in glass now. All right, Lane Thomas, Refractor for the Blue Jays. Sorry, I'm trying to mix this shit up. Pain in the ass. All right, Ryan Ripken. I would love this card back in 2014 when I was chasing this kid for Washington, number to 399. Chrome. And it's full rainbow, super and all. Didn't get shit for it when I sold it. Because he sucks. Just like his dad did. Billy. Ben Lively. And Nick Howard in a refractor for the uh, Reds. Cal actually, Cal can actually suck too. So you know what? Maybe he'll come up and do well for the Orioles just like Cal did. Cal wasn't that great, but he made it, and he did well. And it's not just because of that game streak, either. All right, guys, six to go, and I got to pee. This sucks. Buck seven. Nothing's worse than to pee during Roman draft. You got half a case left.
Shut up, I'll get a big ass hitter. I'm gonna piss my pants. <laughs> Just kidding. Nah, Chuck, I'll get through it, dude. I've I've done it plenty of times, man. It is what it is. I'm just half asleep right now, man. I'm, I'm actually really tired tonight. I was hoping this shit filled at like 6 o'clock. I had that mini up all day. Nobody took a spot. And then I deleted it and re reposted it. And the shit went. I'm like, what the fuck? That's why I hate posting minis during the daytime. Nobody pays attention. But after 7 o'clock, you guys want to fill them. Which is fine, but... For this, I was trying to do a lot earlier. <laughs> It's all good though. It's actually really tired tonight, that's all. I'm used to it though, I know it would fill. Whenever I'm tired, draft fills. Bowman always does it to me. Never fails. These damn packs. Keep them still till fucking. Midnight at one in the morning. I think last time I did this, we did a two caser. And I think we filled it like midnight. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I think we were up to like four in the morning. <laughs> uh, I think Grant Holmes, Chad, I believe. God, how far back are you on the video? They were asking what the plate was. That was like the second box. We're on box seven. I think it was Grant Holmes. It was somebody for the Dodgers. It wasn't Urias. Pretty sure it was Grant Holmes, one on one plate. It wasn't an auto, though. Lewis Brinson. God, I forgot all about these guys, man. All right, David Dahl. Max Fried, refractor for the Padres. All right, Brian, Byron Buxton on the paper, blue, number two, uh, 399. If Rose on you, now you're live. Well, Chad, you're way behind or something's going on because if you're asking the plate was, that was like box two. Oh, you're saying you froze then. Is that what you're saying? You actually got a decent auto, Chad, for the Blue Jays. I'll look in a second. I can't remember who the hell it was. Wasn't color, but uh, Coppich, the Red Sox and Refractor. You remember who it was for the Blue Jays? It wasn't Pentecost. I don't think he has no one in this. John, you're going to get out in the paper on this. JP Crawford. I didn't realize there were so many second year guys in this one and first year actually don't have autos. All the Chris Bryant's too. Diaz and Ice and Judges. I didn't even know they were in here on the paper. Spencer Adams, the White Sox and Refractor. Yeah, I'll do a recap at the end of the of the hits, Chad. Not the color, but I'll definitely do other hits. Maybe I'll do the colors, not that much. Austin Meadows. All right. Nice hit. Rockies, Kyle Freeland. Going to Eric. Say nice hit is that we're still in 2014, but Freeland's still not a bad, uh, bad guy to hit. It's his first Bowman auto, too. That would have been an awesome case. Sad to say that, but it would have been the best draft case ever. It's not a lot of color. But uh, autograph wise, Tyler Kolick. Aaron Judge Refractor, I'm sure that sells for a shit ton too. Except Benny don't sell his Yankees, I don't think. He's a Yankees fan. He landed on him somehow. Grant Hawken for the Indians. Doesn't, don't these have either a Conforto or that Kasuki guy from the Yankees? Uh, auto per case. Is that this or is that regular Bowman Chrome? 
I thought Judge was in this too, but not, he's not on the, um, or not Judge, Brian. I thought he's not on the checklist. I think he has 2013 base auto or some colors show up too. Jacoby Jones, Refractor for the Pirates. It's been so long since I've done this. Oh, we got some gold. Here we go. Eh, my Dodgers, John Ritchie. Nothing big. Out of 50. Nine auto. And his little molester mustache. Forty-two of fifty. All right, ice of uh, Ian Clarkson, the Yanks, and Mitch Keller for the Pirates in the refractor. All right, on the box eight. We sound sick, guys. I'm tired, and my kids are sick, so I'm gonna be getting there too. Yeah, maybe that's what it was, Chad. Maybe 2015 had the Comfortos and the Kasukis, whatever the hell his name is on the Yankees. I can't, I couldn't remember, but I'm pretty sure these have Chris Bryant in them. He's just on the checklist. That's why the price is still pretty high for this. Because overall, the checklist is, isn't the best for this, but it's, I mean, it's not terrible, but compared to the other Bowman drafts out there, this is probably one of the worst. Actually, 2015 Bowman drafts, probably the worst. 2016 was a lot better, but 2015 was probably the worst one of all. Well, John, I'm not breaking 2017, so I'm not tagging you in that. So, eat a dick, bro. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not breaking 2017, Berman. Only 2018, my friend. <laughs> Fucking ain't buying their 2017, Berman. Now it's just like four grand a case. Ain't even worth it. What, you get a Mankato Auto? Who gives a shit? Ain't selling for crap now, anyway. <laughs> 2017 Bowman's so overpriced. 2018's overpriced, but, I mean, God, there's at least three guys I know of. I haven't even looked at the checklist yet, by the way, guys. Uh, I just looked at the teams doing up hits. But you got Hunter Green, Atani, and Hoskins. Right there, says it all for the price. I ain't doing no 17 and... An 18 mixer. No, 17 is gone, dude. 17 is way overpriced. It ain't worth shit. That checklist sucks, too. I remember we broke it. I'm like, why is this rising so much? There ain't nothing in here. There's like four good guys. 18 actually probably has a lot. Yeah, Seth Beer. We got all the new guys. There's actually a lot of good autos in there. I just haven't looked at it yet. No, John, I didn't get enough to sell a case, dude. I'm sorry. Unless you want to pay 100 under retail, I ain't selling you a case. And it has to be friends and family. Or you drive your ass out to Maryland and pick it up. <laughs> Only way I'll sell one, dude. Other than that, I didn't get that many. I didn't pre-order a lot, dude. And even, even when I pre-ordered, I still didn't, I didn't get anyway. So it doesn't matter. Blame Matani for it being so so expensive, but the dude's the dude's good. He really is good. He proved himself so far. All right, Breos on the insert. All right, Austin the car, probably our worst auto so far. Refractor auto, Yankees. On the Benny. Not numbered. It is a refractor though. What's your LCS? Are you talking hobby or are you talking jumbo, John? Yep, you're right, Chad. That's in this too, right? Are you talking hobby or are you talking jumbo? Everyone keeps talking jumbo. I got both. I got I to gotta break both. Jeff Hoffman. Uh, Alan Hansen, a refractor for Pittsburgh. Keep forgetting draft doesn't number the refractors. John, I could probably beat that. Talk to me when it comes out Wednesday, dude. Or, or hit me up. Um, hit me up Monday. Jacob Lindgren, refractor. Let me see how it moves in my room, dude. Bowman sucks in my room. I don't know why. 
It really does. I mean, I don't want to sit on the cases forever. I know it's going to freaking go up. Oh, 2018, Chad? I don't know who you're talking about then. But you have Hunter Green on the Reds, right? Isn't that where he went? The Reds are going to be ridiculous. I haven't even seen pricing. I haven't looked at anything. I'm just I'm just waiting, man. I'm not in a rush. Christian Benford on the refractor. I know the prices are going to keep going up on the cases. So worst comes to worst, don't fill my room. I can get rid of it. All right, very nice. Ryan McMahon on the black. Number to 75. I know uh, Chuck's probably a buyer on that. The Rockies. Who has them? Eric. I know it's not an auto, but Chuck likes this kid. Chuck Barhorst. John, can I open it live for you? That way shipping is easier for me. I know you want to open it, but it, I can I can be better on the price if I can do it because then I can put it in a flat rate box afterwards. That's the problem, dude. Bowman, Bowman wastes so much fucking weight, dude. I know you're not that far, but Austin Bossfield on our ice. It's it's a pain in the ass, dude. Milton Ramos in a refractor. That's why I try not to sell him by the box. <laughs> he said, sell me that McMahon. All right, Eric, if you want to sell that McMahon to 75, hit up Chuck Barhorse. He's a big McMahon fan. You know, he won't buy the Rockies in any break, even though he's in everything this year. I'm going to tag him. He wants the rookies, though. The first Bowmans. That's not even a first Bowman. That's a second Bowman. I'm pretty sure. I thought he was 2013. Still nice to have a... Uh, it's a, it's a dollar thirty card. Chuck, why do you want him so much then? Giolato. Tyler Danish and refractor. And I saw what, what happened to my TV? I know a couple other people. I know a couple others are selling better. It's a second year Bowman though, right? Oh, we got a redemption. Hopefully it's still freaking good. You know how tops is. Oh, it's fucking Ryan Ripken. It did expire. You can try, guys. I didn't know. 11-30-2017, Green Parallel. This was a $500 card back in 2014 until they realized he sucked. That's Washington going to Terrence. Of course, you get the expired redemption. You can fight with tops, dude, but they're assholes. But back in the day, I'd have been a buyer on this all day. $250, $300. They were selling for close to $500. Bucks. And now it sells for like $20. Yeah, he's 2013. That's why. All right, Nick Howard, number two, uh, 399. That's why I got rid of it. As soon as they started realizing he sucked and his prices went down, I got rid of his whole whole rainbow. I was buying them all up. So I'm sorry it counts as a hit, even though it's really not a hit because it's expired. Sometimes they'll help you out, though. Tops, Tops is weird. You just got to talk to the right freaking person. It's really all it is. All right, Aaron Blair, Refractor. Hey, John, shoot me them prices that you just gave me for the Jumbo and the dra or the uh, Hobby. I'll, I can tell you. I'll, I'll be able to tell you tonight. Um, let me look at my sheet, what I can do. I really don't want to sell them like that, but Bradley Zimmer Ice. I know how my room is with Bowman, man. I just don't. The Angels are going to be a bitch to fill. That's the problem. No one's going to want to jump in a damn mini. Sam Travis, it's going to be expensive, but fuck it, man. You can win. If there's $600, you can win them for $60. You're making out. You hit any color, or tawny, anything, you're getting that money back. It's his first Bowman, period. You know, it's a rookie. All right, box nine. I mean, it's ridiculous. His base cards are all selling. From Diamond Kings, all his base cards are selling for 10 to $30. It's unreal. Whoever bought them in, in Diamond Kings is smart as shit because you got 30, 40 cards. You're, you're automatically making money just off the base cards. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Well, John, if I can't move it, man, I'll, I'll pop it on eBay. In a week, that shit's going to go up. And I, got, I got no issue with that at all. Because because my I, I use them as a write off if I have fees on eBay I, I don't it don't bother me at all. Straight PayPal I can't use as a write off, but paper uh, eBay can. Right. 
John, that's stupid though. If you're going to overpay with the LCS, I can give you a better price. Just buy from me and let me open it for you live. I know you want to open it yourself because it's more fun, but would you rather pay 100 or 2 cheaper to open it yourself? I mean, for me to open it or you to... I mean, I could probably do it on release date for you. It's not a problem. You have to wait a day or two to get your shit. I mean, I can take pictures of the cars if you're going to post them on eBay, but... I'd rather save the money and have the breaker open it. I mean, I know it's exciting to open it yourself. To be honest, Bowman's not that exciting to open by yourself because you got to open all these damn packs. you got to pay for top loaders. you got to pay for sleeves. It's all included. And you're only in PA. You're a two-day ship for me. It's up to you, man. Just, just shoot me them prices. I think I might see red. It might have a red refractor. Can it be an auto? I think I saw red. Not positive on that. Well, you're half commanded from buying from hand, but I'm trying to tell you, John, if you're overpaying, if you're paying more than I can give it to you for, that's stupid. I'm trying to help you out because we're friends, but I really don't want to sell a case on the side. We definitely have a red coming up. Hopefully it's the autograph. Let's get a Trey Turner red. I had a dream about it last night. All right, Hunter Harvey, Mark Capel, Refractor. I see red. That could be huge. Ah, oh, it's red paper, damn it. Chase Fry, get the fuck out of here with that. Out of 150. It's not even a freaking out of five. Thanks, Bowman. Thanks for getting our hopes up. White Sox. Okay. I was really hoping for a red auto. I really had a dream about a, uh, there's still uh, a couple turners out there with the red. I don't even know if the super's been hit yet. I'm not positive on that. But I know the reds have not all been hit. There's a list. Blandino on the refractor. And the super's not on there yet either. But there's two or three reds left on the blowout uh, forum. And no one's accounted for. That's a huge hit. <laughs> yeah, if I pull a fucking Trey Turner red, John, you're going to shit yourself. I know how much you love that guy. Hey, I put some autos on eBay, not that expensive, of Trey Turner, if you're still trying to buy him up. Josh Bell Refractor. Uh, if anyone likes Ryan Zimmerman, I have a bunch. I just put them all up today. I put them pretty cheap. Um, Zimmerman's a beast, but uh, he just doesn't sell. Zach Lemon on the ice. A couple of rookie autos. Mike Poppy Refractor, that would have been a $30 card a couple years ago. Pentecost. All right, very nice. Nick Birdie. Ah, this case would have been sick. Going to Frank. Nice hit. Or no, that's Twins. My fault, not Indians. I'll go to Eric. There you go, Eric. I wonder if John would have held on to him. I don't have big autos of them. That's why I'm selling them. Twins it again. All right, Severino. Phil Irvin on the refractor for the Reds. Hit these cards upside down. It's like half and half. All the chromes are upside down. Nick Birdie on the refractor. All right, we'll turn them. No, it's this way. Let's get a nice Schwerber color. That's what we need here. All right, Deavers in the refractor. That's his first Bowman. He's still selling pretty damn good. All right, Tyler Supek for the Pirates, number two, uh, 75, 70 of 75. Black. Just crazy. I thought black was Asia edition. Josh Hader on the ice. It definitely is an Asia edition. And uh, Tawan Forbes in a refractor for Texas. All right, three to go.
Yeah, Chad, I don't know why they're not bringing Sensel up, dude. The Reds aren't even playing good. They just fired their manager. I mean, they're going to... I think they're going to hire Barry Larkin, which is pretty cool. I mean, for being a Reds fan, to have Barry Larkin as your coach is like the ultimate. Him or Pete Rose. Um, why aren't they bringing Sensel up? Because his numbers are actually getting better. His value actually just jumped again. It was really shitty for a while, which I was shocked because he was, what, number two overall pick? He was right behind um, Moniac, right? I don't understand. His value started jumping again. He's doing well. I, I, I've kept an eye on his numbers because I have a bunch of stencils I've been putting up. He's been selling for shit. I need to auction them. I should have saved them all. But he did go up a little bit over the past couple months. Well, Blandino is good too. He's just not. He's just not doing it. Blandino. Blandino is a highly talented ball player. He's just not. He's not what he's supposed to be. Isn't Blandino in this? I have a couple Blandino elite elite autos sitting around. No, Chad, that's not final. They said it's between him and Larkin, Riggleman and Larkin. I just saw it today on ESPN. So they hired Riggleman over Larkin already. That's stupid. I really think Barry Larkin would be an awesome coach. Damn, it's another red foil. I want a number to 150. That's crazy. I don't think they hired Riggleman yet. Where did you hear that? Because right. I just saw it like three hours ago. It was between him and Larkin. They went to uh, interview Larkin this week, which will be tomorrow. The week's almost over. Well, maybe you know more than me. You live out there. I don't. I'm just telling you what I saw on my phone, my alert. I think Barry Larkin would be a good coach. He was always a good team player. I mean, he was great. I, I don't think he should be in the Hall of Fame, but he was definitely a great player. He's a very good teammate. I think he would do good with the co as a coach. I just don't think he should have been Hall of Fame compared to others out there. Yeah, I didn't see nothing about that. Like I said, it was supposed to be doing him and Larkin, and there was just an interview with Larkin this week, which probably would be tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. But I could be wrong, man. I mean, I'm in Maryland, so we could be way behind. The only reason Larkin made it because the second base, I mean, it's really not that big of a Hall of Fame for them. All right, we got Kyle Freeland. I still think there's others that should go in before him because he was, what, second ballot? All right, we got Ryan Casta. Uh, Castellani, Colorado. It's going to go to, uh, Eric. So Colorado hits again. Oh, this draft is so boring. Dominic Smith, CJ Edwards. It's actually been a good case. I just... I hate Bowman Draft. <laughs> I hate all the cards. If it wasn't for all the cards, I'd be happy. I know a lot of you guys like it. I mean, there's some big hits in it, but it's just so long. Brian Anderson Refractor. Nobody talks. I just sit here like I'm by myself, fucking breaking my own case, getting mad. I ain't getting nothing. <laughs> there's shortstop. Sorry, Chad. Shortstop. Speaking of him, there he is. Oh, never mind. I thought he was. It's not him. It's Blandino and Nick Howard. Kyle Crick the prick on the refractor. All right. Ryan McMahon in the blue. Number two, uh, 399. Chuck's going to want that too. I meant to say shortstop. I just think there's some other guys that should have been before Larkin. I mean, I, I'm a big steroid guy. I mean, I don't care that they used them because the MLB knew they were using them. So, I think they should be in before Barry Larkin. Just my opinion. Steroids or not, they still had Hall of Fame numbers. Jake Reed Ice. 
And you're gonna get Chuck in here arguing with me on that, but also Casino Refractor. Sorry, they knew they were on them. They were still Barry Bonds and McGuire and all them were still Hall of Famers before all that bullshit. I still think A Rod should get in too when he gets a chance, but he'll never get in either. Yeah, McMahon Rainbow, right? Alfaro. Nick Torres for San Diego and the Refractor. We get an auto in this box yet? I think we did, right? Isn't that the uh, Castellani? Fred Seeker was in this too. There's that Gato guy, whatever his name is. He was selling for a ton when he first came out. Out of 150. He didn't prove to be shit though for the Yankees. When he first came out, he was like the freaking... Atani for like a week. <laughs> Never got to play. I think I hurt. All right, Alex Jackson refractor. Centering is way off on that. Top to bottom. Terrible. Alright, we got Vincent Velasquez, Fractor for Houston. Trevor Stories in this too. They were selling for a ton. A year ago, two years ago, Tyler Bede on the ice. Monte Harrison for the Brewers and the Refractor. Alright, two to go. What Rockies do, Chuck? Yeah, that's right. And you're talking about Castellani, right? All right, box 11. I mean, overall, we probably got two bum autos out of this whole thing. I mean, if you're going back to when this released. No, Chad, no comic books, dude. I used to. Um, I actually get a lot when I buy from that one guy, dude. I just haven't, I haven't in a while, but now I have two huge sheds, so I need to call him up and fucking fill him up. Um... I get a ton of comic books from him, but there's a guy around here that buys them from me, and he pays pretty well. I mean, I'm sure I'm losing out, because I don't know anything about comics, but... I mean, I know, like, a lot of the early editions, I know what to look for. But in terms of condition and shit, I don't, I don't care. I mean, I give him... He, he pays me a lot for them. I mean, sometimes it, it ends up paying for the whole collection I just bought in the comics, and I'm sure he's making money off them, which is fine. But if I find any, I'll let you know. I just, I'm not a big comic guy, dude. I can add you to a good room that does comics, but they charge, you know, retail for them for the most part. If you're not already in it. Um, actually, are, are you into collecting comic posters, like 11 by 17s? Or 17 by 11s, or whatever, 11 by, whatever the hell that number is. I can't think of a time I had. Because David's... Well, you guys aren't going to see David Beard around anymore. I'm just letting you know, which kind of sucks. But something happened. Um, but anyway, his wife reached out to me. And she has... Um, I can't think of the fucking size. 17 by 20, I think it is. Of all of, like, first edition comics. I don't know what the fuck they're worth. But she hit me up asking what kind of value. And I forgot all about it until right now, when, now that you mentioned it. They're like blow-ups. Um... I can send you the pictures. I, I have no clue what they're worth. And she wants me to sell them for her to help her out. I'm like, I, I don't know anything about these. I'm going to research them. I don't know if they're originals. I mean, they're blow-ups, but I don't know if they're like original. I have no clue what the artwork is. And I know David could spend some money, so I'm pretty sure they're probably worth something, but I just don't know. I was going to post in that room, like, guys, can you help me out with this? But we won't be seeing him around ever again. Kind of sucks because he was a really good customer of mine. Really good customer. And a friend, too. We talked all the time. He did something really fucking dumb. Which I don't know what it is. I, I kind of got the gist of it. I hope, he, I hope he gets his nose clean and comes back. All right, I'll I'll get you the pictures, Chad. Give me um, remind me tomorrow to go look them up from her message. I gotta find a message. How's this sticking? 
Come on. All right, Giolato. I mean, David was a good closer for us. I uh, just took something that didn't belong to him, and that's all I know. <laughs> Fleet the country, man. All right, Eric Fetty. Never panned out. Washington. Going to Terrence. I got a buyer for you if you want on this. Uh, Bradley Fear. Bradley Fear will buy this from you. Big Eric Fetty fan. He, he's a friend of the family. No, he's gone to Chad. No one knows. No one knows, man. He's... He, He's, he, he fled the country, dude. He's been on Facebook. I tried to reach out to him. I tried to call him. His phone is disconnected. Danny Roberson, Italian refractor. I'm just hoping the guy don't get chargebacks, man. I'll be fucked. That's all I keep thinking about. Like If that happens to me, I'm fucked. <laughs> like, I'll be I'll be done, dude. I'll be living in a cardboard box. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. All right, uh, Louis Ortiz, refractor. Dude, spent a lot of money. Yeah, Bradley Fear. Yep, he'll buy that Eric Fetty in a heartbeat. I don't know what, what he's selling for anymore, but he was actually a highly talented prospect and just has not panned out. All right, Trey Turner Refractor when he was in San Diego. It's his first Bowman. If you didn't know that, he's in San Diego in this product. All right, Sam uh, Henkies, no clue, refractor for the Indians. All right, see some green. Can we get a green auto? Here we go, here we go. Hoskins. Damn, Jonathan Holder, number two, uh, 150 for the Yankees. Uh, Chad, if he, if I charged back on everything he bought, man, in the past year, I'd, yeah, I'd be living in a fucking cardboard box. Roberto Zuna, it put me out of business, dude. <laughs> and when you find out someone was living a life of crime, and for the most part, it's in the back of your mind, dude. I mean, obviously I could fight it, but it would take a lot. I remember when uh, what's his name when I first started, Jim hit me back. His wife freaked out on him doing this for five thousand dollar chargeback, dude. I almost couldn't break no more, dude. Just, you guys understand that's a lot of fucking money for me to just lose. Bead. Trey Ball Refractor for Boston. Stuck to another card. That's a that's a big hit, man. It's not something I can... I, I almost didn't recover from that. I almost had to quit. Because I just started, pretty much. Lucas Sims for the Braves, number two, uh, 399. But, I mean, I'm talking I'm talking thirty forty thousand dollars $40,000, Chad. If, if, if that happened, I'd be... I'd be... I'd be done, dude. <laughs> I have to, because here's the problem. When, when Jim B, when that happened with me, I mean, he hasn't been around since. Uh, so I don't know if it's a lie or what. I got my money back, but um, people kept paying that PayPal. I'm like, stop paying that PayPal, guys. You got to you gotta give it to the other PayPal. That's why I have two PayPals, because of that whole reason. You're paying off one that's in debt. It's not helping me, <laughs> AJ Reed Refractor. You can't pay that one. If that happens, man, I can't put a stop on it, but Everyone's got to listen. <laughs> that fucked me, dude. Really bad. And it was in the summertime when I was supporting my family. Like, my, my wife was a teacher. So, or at the time, my wife, she's a teacher. Blake Anderson, refractor. I was paying all the bills. So, it was like, <laughs> fuck me bad. Urias, refractor. I almost went to his house, dude. I almost went to his house. We got a uh, Brian Charles, Miami. Nice. I had to contact his wife and tell her what the hell was going on. She had no clue he was doing this shit. I'm like, if if you got a problem gambling like that, you you need to tell your wife. Like, you can't be doing that shit. Yeah, Chad, that was like my first year, maybe year and a half breaking. All right, guys, last box. It got me good. Like I said, luckily I got I I pretty much won everything. He owed me some after that. He did pay. Um, PayPal didn't side with me on all of them, which was stupid. Only on half. But he did pay me. It just took six months to get it the fuck back. I mean, that's, that's a long time. But yeah, if I got hit for like $40,000 in chargebacks, any breaker would. Don't matter how big you are, dude. You're done. There's nothing you can do about it. I don't care if your platinum breaks. They If they got hit with that, they'd be screwed. 
That's a lot of money, man. And this isn't my full-time job. Like people think I do sell on eBay. You know, I, I, I do sell locally. I try to do shows when I can. I mean, my whole my whole career is cards, but that's a that's a huge hit. <laughs> that's you going through a divorce and paying lawyers. <coughs> I don't think it'll happen, but from you know what I was told and where he's at, and nobody knows, and flew the country, dude. It's just it's in the back of my mind. A stressful feeling to have. I just hope he's okay. He's a good guy. I right? talk to David a lot. And he hasn't even been on Facebook, so God knows where he's at or what he's doing. But I'll send you them pictures tomorrow. For sure. And um, if you know anything about him, let me know. I told her I'd help her out. I just totally forgot about it, so you mentioned comics. Chad, you've been around almost since day one with me, for the most part. You and Bradley fear where Bradley disappeared. Bradley just breaks my buddy Pete all the time now. When he does break. Same with Weber. Weber left. Well, he's still in my group, but he only breaks my buddy Pete. I'm like, thanks, Weber. All the fucking big ass hit. He still has my biggest hit ever. Just to bounce like that. It's kind of fucked up, but it is what it is. Go where you want. I just think it's funny. He hasn't hit shit there. Chuck's been around too. Chuck's been around for a long ass time. Braden Shipley. Chuck was actually I think I was Chuck's first breaker, and then he and then he left and went to Parvin. <laughs> he came back quick. Very nice. I don't know how big this is now, but that this would have been a really good case. Chase Falot on the green or the blue. Numbered uh, 143 of 150 for the uh, Royals. I don't know what he's selling for now, Chuck. I know he was pretty big then. Yeah, fuck Weber. I hope he's watching. That pisses me the fuck off, dude. Dealt with his baby cry, crying all the damn time. and Still hit him some huge freaking cars, dude. All the time. Lucas Sims. Christian Arroyo and a refractor. And all the breakers hit me up asking if I've dealt with him. I'm like, yeah, dude. He's a good dude, but he cries all the time. And they, they can't stand it. He don't hit shit with them. He's hit a lot of big cars at me. It's all right, though. He can go wherever he wants, man. It's his money. John Ritchie, refractor for the Dodgers. I've just always been um, loyal to... When I did do breaks, when I jumped in breaks, I was very loyal to the ones that hit me good cards. Oh, I know you don't, Chuck, but you left me for him for a long time. <laughs> I think I was your first breaker ever, Chuck. You used to buy a ton, and then he just bounced. Everyone did. Everyone went to him. They all come back. It's funny. Delano Shields Refractor. I mean, I might not be the biggest breaker around, man. I mean, I could be if I, I guess, if people would spread a damn wordly to do these other guys that suck. <laughs> We got uh, Jordan Luplo for the Pirates, number two, uh, 399. I'm content, dude. I don't need to be doing four or five cases a night. I want to be able to. I want to be able to catch up on the sorting. To be honest, I'm content. I would like to be busier, but I'm content. I'm not like freaking out. There's some weeks I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like last week, but apparently notifications weren't working. We got uh, Devin Travis on the ice, but like my buddy Pete's a good dude. He just has some straight gamblers, man. Mark Sagunas. Don't matter what he posts, dude. It fills in like no time. Don't get it. He could post this shit and charge double what I'm paying and still fill it in an hour. And run minis all day and fill them. It's just, it's just nuts how my room hates minis. That freaking two dollar break card is not helping no more. You guys aren't even filling, barely filling minis anymore. <laughs> I'm giving away for free now. Well, Chuck, I would never send you ding cards unless it was a, not top load, unless it was base. Rob Kaminsky for the uh, Cardinals and Sean Coyle for the Red Sox. Schwerber rookie. 
I mean, I always top load all numbered, even if it's numbered a damn 999. All right, we have a uh, Marcus. Who the hell is that? Marcus Molina for the Mets. Not numbered. Not sure who the hell that is. Bobby Bradley Refractor. I, I don't care where you guys break. Do what you got to do. I mean, if shit, the fills, if shit's going to fill that quick, go ahead. <clears throat> I would, I'd be the same way. That's how I was when I, I mean, I was just loyal to the guys that pulled these big hits. Tyler McQuinn on a refractor. Just out of respect, I guess. I don't know. Things are different now. That I mean, everyone just wants to do it right away. Chris Oliver for the Phillies and the ice. He's no longer around. I don't think he plays anymore. That's what I recall. Ryan uh, Yarbrough, Seattle, on our fractor. Overall, guys, not a bad case at all. And especially in 2014, this should have been fire. Something to brag about. It was actually a really good break. Really good. All right. Let's do the $30 break credit. Unfortunately, there's only 12 autos, guys. I do have one more case of this. I'll wait till after the other boom, I guess. We'll do Box Wars. Just makes it easier. I won't charge that much more. I just want to get rid of it. All right. A lot of teams. D-backs. Braves. Orioles. Red Sox. White Sox. Cubs. Uh, Reds. Indians. Tigers. Angels. Brewers. Uh, A's. Phillies. Padres, you know, Johnny Manziel, Giants, I didn't want to put him on the list because he don't sell for shit now, Cardinals, it's a sin, Rays, Rangers, alright, Rangers, Rays, Cardinals, Giants, Padres, Phillies, A's, Brewers, Angels, Tigers, Indians, Reds, Cubs, White Sox, Red Sox, Orioles, Braves, and D-backs, 2018 boom is going to be the same guys, one order per box, I think higher than four, five times, one, except for Jumbo, two, three, four, and five. Giants. So San Fran was Joe D. So do it again. Let me know when you use a buddy. $30 credit. Congrats. But overall, really nice freaking case. All right, let's do a recap of the hits. <clears throat> Colors in here, too. All right, we chase below a lot. However, you want to say his name. Blue, very nice out of 150. Eric Fetty, base. Uh, Ryan Castellani, the Rockies, base. A Nick Birdie for the Twins, base. Nice hit. Ryan Ripken, green parallel. It is expired. Expired in 2017, but you can go buy their tops and see if they'll do something for you. Probably not. Sorry. Uh, Austin Nakar for the Yankees, refractor. Kyle Freeland for the Rockies. We had a thirty dollar judge. Uh, Trey Supak for the Pirates. About four autos out of the twelve weren't weren't good. Nick Gordon, I said for the twins. All right, Tyler Kolick, number twenty five on the silver ring for the Marlins. One one Grant Holmes printing plate for the Dodgers. A Jeff Hoffman refractor auto for the Blue Jays. Alex Jackson out of 25, which would have been freaking huge. Probably 1,000 or more back in 2014 for Seattle. Don't know what he's selling for now. And a Derek Fisher, very nice for Houston. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you. Uh, I'll get this out to you tomorrow or Saturday, depending on how quick I can get this sorted. There's not too much chrome here. I should at least be able to have it sorted by tomorrow out by Saturday, the latest. Um, I do have Elite Extra Edition 2017, uh, which I might do a 10 box or might throw up tomorrow. I know you guys are all looking forward to booming. I understand. You guys see the prices. You're going to hate it. Uh, it's ridiculous. Again, there's only 20, 22 out of 30 teams now that are, actually have autos, so the prices are going to be really stupid now. Um, but I will throw up that. It doesn't come out until Wednesday, so if you guys want to do any other baseball before that, I'll throw that up, and I'll throw a box wars up of this if anyone wants to do uh, box wars on this. If not, oh well. I might bust it myself. I kind of like uh, the older boom anyway, because there are some huge hits still waiting that have not been pulled. So, all right, talk to you guys soon. Thank you as always, and I'll get this out to you ASAP. Appreciate you. Thank you.